What's going on everyone and welcome to the new and improved rehab gaming setup. So in this video we're going to go over the many changes that are going on here at rehab gaming to improve our setup and to get more tools in so we can actually do a lot more projects. Stay tuned and we'll get right at it. So this is it. Here it is. This is the new setup that we will be using to record all of our videos for Rehab Gaming. Now, I don't know if you realized this, but before we were actually using a 3 foot by 3 foot playing card table that you can get from your local grocer like Walmart to do all our repairs on. And how we recorded it is we actually had this Samsung Galaxy S10 smartphone hooked up and I was tying it into the display so I can actually see what was going on using this Dex hub right here. And the videos were actually being saved on the phone. And I'd have to transfer those videos to either a video editing software or I would edit them directly from that phone and then post them directly to YouTube. Now with this new setup, we're going to be using this same phone, but we're going to be utilizing this Dex Hub here going to HDMI into the back of this PC that I custom built for this. And I'm going to be using this PC to edit and render all of my videos. There actually is a USB 3.0 to HDMI capture card plugged into the back there for that camera. We have the Rode mic that's also plugged into the sound port microphone port. And then we also have added a second camera right there. So you get two viewing angles of the projects. And in order to help myself out, I can watch everything that's going on in real time in front of me. And I also have this screen off here to the side that I can use in order to either look up something, do some research, or possibly uh, do some screen grabs off them. So... Down here we have numerous parts drawers that are labeled, uh, tons of them have THT capacitors because that's mostly what I go through. I do have some SMD components down here in the drawer and believe it or not I ran out of space here so I actually have two more of these on order from Amazon. And then up here I have a little labeler. All of my test leads actually hang up there. I was using them for work so unfortunately they didn't make them back for the car. But moving on, we have all of the drivers that we could possibly need right here. And then also in the back, we have some micro bit drivers back there for like handheld consoles. And this puppy right here is one of the new additions I'm excited about. The 852D Plus rework station. It comes with a soldering iron and a hot air rework wand. So we're going to be using a little more of these new tools to expand on the types of projects we can do. Especially with this hot air gun, it's going to make it a lot easier to do certain repairs. Also down here is going to be our secondary soldering stations. I also have a cheapo that just plugs into the wall. That's the one I normally will use in order to desolder components because I don't like using my expensive tips or using the KSGER that I actually have down here. That is a nice solder station as well. And then of course I have some part storage down below. And then over here... I actually have some analog to digital video converters, an HDMI switcher, and then I also have a converter down there, and I have some cables that are tucked in behind this screen that are behind the uh, Flux and IPA right there, where I can plug in pretty much any console that uses an analog signal, upscale it to 1080p HDMI, and then simulcast it both on that TV and then also a capture card on the back of this rig here. So moving right along, down here I have quite a few different things. Of course I'm a PC gamer so I have some PC games in there and then other stuff that I use for like IT troubleshooting that I do as a hobby as well. And then this second drawer is full of SMD components. I have resistors, capacitors, and all kinds of great stuff in there. Those sample books are awesome so if you need to get any SMD components and you don't know what exactly you might need, get a sample book because normally it'll have everything that you need in it 
and it comes at a decent price. So we'll go ahead and close that up. The third drawer is just wire storage. And then if you notice, there are three gray totes here. One of those totes has my personal collection in it. And then two of these totes have devices that need to be gone through, troubleshooted, uh, cleaned up, and restored. And there are many, many future videos worth of content and devices down in both of those storage areas. And now for the video software that I'm using, I'm actually using for the first time OBS. I've been playing around with it for the past few weeks. I've kind of got it all set up the way that I want it. I've done some troubleshooting to make sure everything worked properly. So I'll be recording everything from OBS and that also gives me ability to do some live streams later on. And then I also have some uh, video editing software where I'm actually working on another project currently. We'll go ahead and switch the screen. And that is Filmora. And believe it or not, uh, Wondershare put out a decent project or product with Filmora. It's actually kind of intuitive. You do have to play around with it a little bit to understand all the features that it has. But this is a great video editing software. And I believe that's it. Um, so the phone and the road mic that I was using before are still going to be used. I'm going to uh, use the audio quality from the road mic just because it had great quality. The camera quality from the Galaxy S10 is pretty awesome as well. And also it has uh, a really good zoom feature on that. And oh, actually, there are some things that I no longer use anymore for my setup. And I have them down here. Please excuse the... Uh, dog kennels unfortunately my wife no longer wanted my setup in the living room so uh, I got put in the dog house I guess you could say and uh, so the puppers actually stay in the same room and it's out of the way I can close the door I don't have a lot of audio pollution back here so that's also great but inside of this bag here is some gear that I no longer use for the setup and I might be doing a giveaway so stay tuned for that as well so Oh, and last but not least, I also have my Galaxy Tab A that I also use for doing research and stuff. If I have too much stuff going on up here on these two screens, I like to use this. Also, it's off to the side. It's out of the way. And it's just kind of nice to be able to pick it up and walk around with it if I need to do something on the go. So, there you have it. That is it. Except for the addition of two more of these parts organizers over here. This is going to be the setup that we're going to be doing all of our repairs on. So if you're excited to see all the cool videos that we're going to be putting out using all of this new gear, stay tuned and you will be the first to know if you're subscribed and you have your notifications enabled as soon as one of these videos come out. So without further ado, thank you for stopping by and we hope you have a wonderful day.